Ghanaian social media influencer Shatabando is in the news once again and in a secret bout organized by Shatabando and Aite Powers. Shatabando has defeated Aite Powers, giving him a first round technical knockout. Shatabando is known to be a social media person and we do not really know when he ventured into boxing. Aite Powers, whose boxing career has somehow hit the rocks after his judgment day defeat to Bukum Bankun some time ago, uh, was once again defeated by Shatabando. It has left a lot of eyebrows being raised, a lot of people uh, being, uh, are asking a lot of questions. How can Shatabando defeat IT Powers? But it seems that this is the end of IT Powers' uh, boxing career as uh, he succumbed to the pressure and the heavy blows and heavy jabs from the man himself, Shatabando. Shatabando actually tried to um, go into music, but it didn't really pick uh, up for him so it seems Shatabando has ventured into boxing and who knows Shatabando could be um, the next heavyweight uh, world champion bringing a lot of medals to Ghana you have the video on your screen now All right, people, so there you saw the video for yourself. Shata Bando giving a uh, Ghanaian veteran boxer IT Powers a technical knockout. It seems IT Powers uh, couldn't handle the fire power from Shata Bando. In that video, you saw DKB, Ajize was there, Dr. Ewan was there, and uh, a few. Um, other celebrities as well a lot of people have been asking is it a movie but the thing is that Shatabando has given uh, IT powers a technical knockout in a boxing match captioning the video this was what Shatabando wrote on his Instagram page he said why RN vs powers I told you I was a beast with some laughter emojis and with some uh, macho man emojis as well saying that yes he's a beast and so um saying that no one in ghana should try shatabando because who knows in some years to come shatabando could be winning ghana uh, a heavyweight boxing title very very soon who knows and this next story if i bring this story though i want to say a very big thank you to asada shipping limited asada shipping limited are in the united kingdom they are in wales they are in ireland and they are in scotland as well do you have shipments do you have um delivery do you have any packages uh, you want to ship outside ghana to any of these countries and vice versa i'm entreating you and i'm recommending i said that ship limited for you within the shortest possible time you have uh, your product or your package right at your doorstep i said that ship limited thank you very much and my next story uh, it's quite unfortunate but ghanaian screen goddess actress uh, tv personality and radio personality na ashoko has tested positive to the corona virus disease and um in the week past we realized that during the international break some ghanian players like jordan are you contracted the virus as well so yesterday he couldn't play for his uh, football team in england crystal palace his coach uh, reacted to the news and even the ghana football association have also reacted to claims that uh, because safety precautions were not taken a lot of players in the black stars camp contracted the coronavirus disease taken to an instagram page the screen goddess and radio personality na shoko had this to write and she says that hello family after not feeling like myself on thursday night i did a COVID test and it came out positive i am feeling okay 
following my doctor's instructions and currently self-isolating at home. The virus is real. It is still out there. Don't forget all the safety protocols. Wear your mask at all times. Wash your hands with soap under running water. Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Stay safe. COVID is still out there. And this was what Nashako um, posted on her Instagram page. And a lot of um, celebrities, a lot of social media people, of course, a lot of Ghanaians have been reacting. A lot of people wishing a speedy recovery because um, during this time, COVID-19 is not quite... Uh, a disease that you'd love to contract looking at the fact that a lot of people have lost their lives after contracting the coronavirus disease and then Ghanaian comedian Clemente Suarez uh, had to say this he said that oh thanks for the info you will be well soon but if this is how COVID makes people look then I'm going to get some we move together my India always by your side. I, I guess Clemente Suarez is saying this because even with COVID, Nashoko looks stunning and um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then Nashoko reacted to Clemente Suarez's post as well with some laughing emojis. And um, Bella Mundi is saying, oh, so sorry. Get well soon, okay? Nashoko says, thanks, dear. And then Akusia Moni also Nashoko reacting. And Sister Deborah says, sorry, get well soon. Amakia Berbisa says, wishing you a speedy recovery. Adina Tembi, musician is saying feel better soon darling and cassandra world is saying sorry dear it is real only unfortunate that people have forgotten and gone back to their old ways get well soon so um that is the reactions from social media after tv goddess and screen personality nashoko posted uh, the latest updates on coronavirus remember it's COVID period please do all to sanitize at all times wash your hands with soap under running water and then let us practice safe social distancing as well all right so i have been here with me we are still discussing coronavirus and then its impact on funnily media personality nashoko has contracted the virus no only now shock up, but um during the international break some black star football players also contracted the virus jordan are you and um caleb ekuban as well we are looking at the measures placed by the government and then it seems that we are taking a lot of things for granted and um here at ghp um we have the necessary precautions and then we've done the necessary checks so if you see us um kind of close like this we've done what we have to do so um biggie let us get straight into the discussions. Now, Shoko has contracted coronavirus. The coronavirus um, disease seems to be around, but we are taking a lot of things for granted as a people. Yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, let me say hello to our cherished viewers. And then, <coughs> let me say a speedy recovery to um, Now, Shoko, wherever she is, we are praying with her. And we believe that God would heal her very soon. Now, coming back to the coronavirus issue, I think... Um, Ghana hasn't got to the point that we should let loose our guard in the sense that um, previously we've seen videos and pictures of parties in pubs and other places. Even in church, people have stopped wearing the nose mask, thinking that um, we've been able to defeat the virus. But here is the case that the virus is still around. The virus is still around. And um, Na Shoko tested positive in Ghana here. And then I think Thursday she was in her office. According to what she wrote, she wasn't feeling well and then she decided to test for um, coronavirus. And then unfortunately for her, she tested positive. So um, the virus is still around. Even though we are about 80 to 90% um, done with the virus. I mean, we've cured, uh, we have more recovered patients than the active cases we have. Um, I mean, 0.5%, less than 0.5% death rate. And um, God has been so good when it comes to the virus, but we still have our parts to play. We should put on our nose mask. We should, I mean, all the measures that has been given to us by the WHO, um, the Ghana Health Service, I mean, we should put all these measures in place just to avoid the virus. And I know that, as the president always says, this too shall pass. Uh, this too shall pass, and then surely um, the battle is not ours to fight. The battle is the Lord's. And then we are looking at the general impact of coronavirus uh, on the world, the global impact, if I should say, on the world. And then recently, Shatawali, um, through a birthday party, there were a lot of people uh, over there, but then it was like 
the precautionary measures were not observed. Social distancing, nothing was really observed. A lot of people seem to be thinking that um, we've done, we've defeated the virus. But then the virus is entering a second phase. You go to some countries and then they are really, really struggling with the second phase of um, the virus. What do you say to that? I think um, the second phase of this virus is more dangerous than the first phase. Because people were, more, were like, I mean, we fought this virus for a while. We know how it works. We know how to prevent the virus, and then we know how to deal with the virus. But they were not expecting the virus to come back stronger. And now the virus is back stronger, and it's affecting a lot of economies. It's affecting a lot of countries, and people are dying. I was reading an article, and then I read that in some countries, the death rates have moved up to thousands. <coughs> and then this is very serious, and then it's affecting the world at large. So, um. Um, my advice to these celebrities, um, I heard you made mention of Shatawali, his um, birthday party and a whole lot of things. I think that um, they should set themselves as an example to um, the youth. They should set themselves as examples to the youth. And then um, I believe that when they set good examples for us to follow, um, people would practice the social distancing they would wear their nose masks. I mean, they would wash their hands frequently. One thing that I thought the coronavirus would leave for Ghanaians is that the, the virus would, have, would, would teach us how to wash our hands frequently. But um, I'm seeing that now that the virus has reduced, now that the active cases are reducing, we've stopped washing our hands, we've stopped using our nose masks, we've stopped using the, our hand sanitizers, or as people will say, our hand sanitizers or hand... I mean, anyhow you want to put it. But that is, not, that is not how the case should be. This virus should have taught us lessons. We should have learned something from this virus. I mean, how can you go and then um, you go out, you greet people, you meet a lot of people. Now, we don't even wear our nose masks in our Trotskys again. Yes, um, I, I, um, it's, it's very sad. It's very sad. All right, um, it's very sad. Um, Biggie has said a lot, and I believe you watching uh, have taken a thin or two from this. This is GH Page, and then Biggie, thank you for passing through. We'll be right back. Stick and stay. This is Ghana Page People. Subscribe to this channel across social media. Follow us on Facebook, GH Page News, on Instagram at GH Page News, on Twitter at GH Page underscore com. You can also visit our website, www.ghpage.com. My name is Jobson. Always, you can call me your MC General. It will be